excited to be back in Vancouver, which is my hometown, and it is my turn to show notes some of my favorite places from my childhood memories here. And because I haven't been back for over seven years, I'm curious to see what Vancouver is like now. I'm taking you to the most beautiful beach in Vancouver. Kitsilano Beach, but it is nothing like the beaches we have in Samoy. So it's not quite like a white sand beach with really warm weather. It's a little bit gray and grainy, but it's hey, the most beautiful beach. <laughs> I think it looks pretty nice. It's nice enough for us to take off our shoes and walk on the yeah, sand. I, think we should. I miss the beach. I miss not wearing shoes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. The sand is so soft actually. Mm -hmm. Isn't it nice to be back? It is. I used to come here a lot with my family, but my family is not really beach people, so I remember coming to Kits to rollerblade, to, to bike, to play tennis, not so much enjoy the beach and enjoy the ocean. I like it here. If I were to live here, I would come here quite often. Yeah. And what's on the other side of the island? You can see um, where all the trees are. Yeah. That is Stanley Park. And then across from us is West Vancouver. And there's like even a ski hill you see right at the top. Mm -hmm. I think that is, that might be Cyprus. That's where I learned how to snowboard. So a little about my backstory. I wasn't born in Vancouver. I was actually born in Hong Kong. But I moved here when I was three years old and I lived here until I graduated from high school when I was 18. That's when I left and went to Hong Kong and went to Australia where I met Note. But coming back here, after not living here for 16 years, I still think Vancouver is so beautiful and so laid back and is definitely my vibe for a Canadian city. But unfortunately, the prices are so expensive now. There is no way for us to really like move back and live here. And plus we do love Thailand mm -hmm. a lot, but it's always nice yeah. to come back and visit. I agree with you. If you were to have to come back to Canada mm -hmm. and choose a place to live, Vancouver would be the place. Really? Yeah. He didn't used to like it. I brought you here when we were living in Calgary mm -hmm. together. We uh, drove here for a road trip a couple times and you're like, it's so wind it's so gloomy, it's so rainy. I don't like it. I like Calgary. Now that I'm older, I appreciate the weather, mm -hmm. the, the space that we have, and all the delicious food that Vancouver has to offer. Yeah, it it's has, so diverse. It has a really good selection yeah. of multicultural foods for sure. So I didn't bring you to Kitsilano to enjoy the day. I actually brought you here because we are going to take the False Creek Ferries over to Granville Island, which I know was your favorite spot last time we yes. were here. So let's go there for lunch. This pier is so cute. There's so many nice boats. Actually, some of them are almost like museum pieces. Like this one here, it even has like a signage describing like this was one of the last of the sailing Arctic fur trading ships. It's so cool. It's part of the Vancouver Maritime Museum actually. Beautiful boats, right? Yeah. And look how cute the little ferry station is. <laughs> I, and I'm not very good at uh, card tricks, but let's see how we do here. So, that's mm -hmm. your card. Now, uh, we're going to make your card disappear if you know the right magic words. Do you know any magic words? Abracadabra. Abracadabra is a good magic word. <laughs> My mother used to say please was a magic word, oh, okay. but, but I'll, I'll use abracadabra. And instead of just losing your card, I thought we'd lose them all. What? Gee, I forgot to wear sleeves. Oh, where did, did they, they go? go? It's called magic, folks. Oh! What? <laughs> he already showed me a penny and it disappeared. And now the cards disappeared. 
<laughs> that was good. Thank you. Thank you for showing us that. Wow, this ferry is so cute. So we just hop on. We'll pay later. So we got our day pass, which is eighteen dollars per person. We're waiting for some change, and it's gonna get us to a lot of places. We'll go to Granville Island first, and thank you. And afterwards, we'll take the ferry to do a little tour down to where Science World is. Such a pleasant ride. So easy <laughs> and so quick and so lovely. Now we are here at Grand Island. This all looks super yum. The Granville Island Public Market has always been one of my favorite places growing up. This is where we would sometimes come down to get our fresh produce, buy some treats, um, eat some frozen yogurt. So today, we get to do exactly what I used to do when I was a kid. This is awesome. Everything looks so delicious. I know. It's gonna it be hard to so choose. Good. I think we should grab the chicken pot pie and maybe frozen yogurt. Yes. <laughs> and maybe the donut shop too. Sure. There's a table over there. Go, 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 go. Nice. Okay, you can stay on this side. Look at this. It looks so delicious. You're gonna break it? I'm gonna break it. Go for it. Oh, wow. Don't you miss this? <laughs> I do. This is like comfort food. It's really just like almost like a soup with a puff pastry on top, but somehow like it's very, very comforting. I don't think I had chicken pot pie before. No, and I wouldn't make chicken pot pie for no. you as well because you don't like dairy. <laughs> There's cream in there, right? Mm -hmm. I think you will like it though. Oh, that's delicious. Like yeah. Oh, wow. Extra delicious with the bread. It's like clam chowder, but with chicken. You can get it with clam chowder. You can? Yeah. But I like the chicken and mushrooms. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you like it. That's amazing. <laughs> Is that good? That's a 10 out of 10. Wow. Mm. It's not enough food though. I know, let's go get more food. <laughs> Real quick, no matter where we are, whether that's Thailand or Canada, we prioritize our online security because the internet can be a scary place. The last thing we want is to get hacked, so we always use Surfshark VPN for that extra level of security. A VPN is a virtual private network which acts as a protective shield for your internet connection, keeping your personal information safe on your computer or mobile device. With Surfshark, we can hide our actual location and IP address, making it safe for us to use public Wi-Fi networks and even access shows on Netflix and other platforms that might not be available in our current location. What's convenient is that one Surfshark account can be shared by the whole family. If you're interested in trying a VPN, Surfshark has an exclusive offer that gives you three extra months for free. You can click the link below and use our code Flora and Note to get started. Now back to the video. Look at all the berries. They so look colorful. So big. Can you see this? This is my thumb. That is humongous. Even those strawberries over there look so nice. I want to try this. How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine a pound. A box. Oh, a box. B is a box. Fifteen dollars a box. We're here. Let's try it. 
You said fifteen dollars a box or a pound? Pound. A pound. So how much is it? So it's thirty thirty two dollars. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is that too much? No, that's okay. That's way too much. <laughs> Because I saw a bee, I thought it's a yeah, box. Yeah, I also saw it. I thought it was a box. That is quite expensive. Okay, that looks delicious though, but not $32. Delicious. I have an idea. Instead of blueberries, let's just get blueberry frozen yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> I think chocolate sprinkles isn't what I would normally get now, but the kid in me felt like it was appropriate to get the chocolate sprinkles. That looks yummy though. Mm -hmm. Don't you love this? Beautiful so nice. weather, live music behind us, and enjoying delicious food here in Granville Island. It's perfect. I've missed this a lot. more than just a public market here at Granville Island. There are tons of really nice restaurants and also art galleries, um, artisan shops, and the most famous is probably the Granville Island Brewery, which you can go in and take a tour and have beer samples as well. Another one of my favorites though is the Kids Market. I just love walking through that tiny entrance and going in to play games and buy candy and stuff. You know what? If we were to have enough time here, I would love to go on one of the fishing charters. Yeah, I've never done that before. And there's also whale watching tours as well. We saw people coming back from that. They were wearing these thick jackets because it's probably quite cold mm -hmm. out there. See, that would be fun too. Or, you know, you can get a water bike for $35. I don't know. It looks very depressing. Yeah, that I don't I think that might have been just a gimmicky thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're now back at the False Creek Ferry Pier because we were going to do a little scenic boat ride all the way to Science World and back just so we can enjoy what the downtown Vancouver looks like. line up to get into a night market. I know, I've been to this night market maybe like 10 years ago and I don't remember lining up for it. I also did not come at 7 when it's, this is the opening time. We're early too. Yeah, I thought there was a line up easy. It's much bigger than I remember. Oh, we didn't even mention the name of it. This is the Richmond night market and it's only here in the summer. So end of April until beginning of October is when they have this market. And yeah, it's been here for over 20 years. And this is the biggest outdoor market in North America. It looks pretty big. <laughs> Perfect, we got some small bills to now get some food. So is it still $8? Yeah, it's $8. Okay. So we're now inside the night market and just like many night markets, it has a shopping area and has a stage, but we are walking straight to the food section to see what's there. There's all kind of food here. Chinese food, Thai food, Taiwanese Korean, food, Japanese, uh, Mexican food and some like crazy things that we've never seen before and some like familiar things like I want to try some skewers but I think we should also try something crazy I think I found what I want to try one of these um, Xinjiang buns <laughs> It looks legit yeah. It looks legit <laughs> Welcome to Canada, Vancouver, Richmond Richmond High Park Happy Thank you. Friday everybody <laughs> What's good here? There's a lot. 
The lamb. The uh, lamb bun. Okay. You want to try that one? Yeah, I think we can try that one. Welcome, oh. Rich Red Eye Mark of the Happy Island. Oh, there you go. You have to try. So we got the Shincha style lamb bun. It's $8. <laughs> <laughs> No, this piece escaped. Oh. Okay. Let's meet over there. Wow. Really? Man, that's one of the best lamb I ever had. <laughs> the steam bun is so good. It's kind of crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. You will love this. I'm really tasty. <laughs> I wouldn't even give this a 5 out of 5. The spices, the cilantro, the lamb is so tender, mm. the bun. Oh man. You're leaving the final bite for me? I wasn't going to. <laughs> Do you want it? Let's uh, half half. Of course I want it. <laughs> mm. uh, good call. Mm. Good call. Oh, what is that? That looks good. Sushi taco! <laughs> Never seen that before. Vancouver has really good Japanese food because we are right on the uh, coastline of the Pacific Ocean. But yeah, I think this is like a new creation. I'm excited to try. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. So inside it's just spicy tuna topped with white sesame and black sesame and some spring onion. There's rice in there. And the shell and is like a deep fried seaweed. seaweed. This is so creative. You can go first this time. I was hoping you'd say that. I haven't gone into the tuna yet. Mm. That's really yummy. The seaweed works as the taco shell? It does. It's almost like, you know, like deep fried sushi. It's kind of like that. Oh. But like a different construction of it. But it's really, really good. Japanese dessert. What does it call? Taiyaki. Taiyaki. Nah. And they were both eight dollars each. Eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> kind of expected that, you know. We're in like a festival kind of setting, yeah. right? But so far the food has been really, really good. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it exceeds my expectation. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna bite his head off. Wow, there's red bean paste in there, delicious, oh. right? It's so fluffy! Mm. This is a Japanese dessert? Mm. I wonder if it tastes better in Japan. What do you think about this time um, coming back to Vancouver? I realize I love Vancouver a lot. It's a beautiful place and it's so laid back, so chill. Definitely my favorite mm -hmm. city in, in Canada. Canada. Thank you so much for joining us in Vancouver today. This wraps up our Canada series, so we will see you in the next country. As always, have a wonderful day and bye! Bye bye!